big upset here. I think he likes the Pika matchup. Yeah, he does. He's, he's not bad at it. You know, but this is a different kind of Pikachu that he's used to playing. Yeah, I don't know if there's any matchups that he's he's probably not good at because Samus. this is his character. You know, he really hates the Samus matchup. Oh, uh, ah, uh, and, and a bad forward air from CTG. You know, he Kiro putting a lot of pressure on him, and CTG could have grabbed the ledge, but putting out an attack like that, you know, Jigglypuff's later jumps are not as high. They really don't net him much air. They kind of stall him out at where he is. Right, her third jump is extremely good. Now is this? This could be a uh, oh, the tricks. So now Kiro kind of at a strange percent. Um, You're looking for up throw rest here as well as the throw rest. Yeah, I think CTG seems to be. Oh, and that's a great up B. Back there. CTG plays very fast. I think he's also very, uh, very fond of the throws. You know, like get what you can, get yeah. the throw up, go for the edge guard. I it's so him. difficult to guarantee see him do a cut like a pivot up tilt. A pivot up tilt uh, in neutral as Jiggly can be so devastating. Just catch someone with a rest from that. Yeah. Oh, nice roll. Rest. Yeah. And that kills. Yeah, and you know there's some circumstances where you don't even need that uh I don't know if we did one or two two up airs. You don't even need a second up air occasionally if Pikachu's far enough toward the side of the stage. You just throw up air rest sometimes. So what Joey just did in that instance was exactly how you edge guard Jigglypuff. A lot of people will treat this as if you're playing against a Kirby and will face away and throw out backwards facing up airs. You want to face puff when you're up airing and edge guard. It slaughters her. Yeah, it can be very difficult. I think up. I do think backward facing up airs work very well. Also, though, it can be very hard to recover his Jiggly. Oh, that's a nice jab. A little, yeah, but he was a little slow on the. Uh, I didn't hate that F smash either because it moved his hurt boxes over there. You know, Ooh. Jigglypuff like Kirby moves during his forward smash. Oh, and a very nice forward air though. Up tilt. Air. Yeah, and CTG with a stock lead yeah. right now. Yeah, CTG looking very, very good right now. Kiro takes a moment to compose himself there, and this is one. This you know is one of those situations where uh, I I would go ahead and say, Becker. Yeah, I would go ahead and say that there's you know when you're playing someone you're conceivably a lot better than you know if you're in there with the mindset I'm not gonna lose. You. Yeah, you know? and then all of a sudden you're down. Lose. Yeah, that might be enough to not let Puff get back on stage. Though. Oh, and he was almost back. A great F tilt. Now it was almost a pretty tricky recovery from CTG. So now he's got a little bit of a. Well, he had a little invincibility to work with. This could be it. Ooh. Hero, some good DI to get away from that. That's. That's oh! oh, and that was so close. But I don't know. That was probably not the right move. You know, that was. At 0%, the up smash can lead to a 0 to death against Jiggly. But Kiro, I don't think, was aware. Oh, I think teleport it, rest. rest! Wow! Teleport up air rest, Teleport rather. up air to rest, and CTG pops off. Takes a sigh of relief, and Kiro... After a terrible start. Yeah, and look at the body language on these two right now. Wow, it's like... I mean, Kiro just looking so upset with himself, and kind of feeling a little pressure. He's trying to calm down CTG as well. CTG relieved have taken game one here, composing himself. So Kiro thinking about it, you know, possibly looks like he might be thinking about a character change. We know CTG is sticking with Jigglypuff. Absolutely. So His only other character is a Falcon. Uh, I don't know if it's really at the level of his puff. Kiro looks ready. So he's not switching. He just needed a moment to compose himself. Think about like what he's doing. I'd like to be able to coach Kiro. Yeah, and Isaiah's not here, interestingly enough, coaching Kiro for this match. Might be playing Splatoon. It's a possibility. And this is when things get rough. There's the stock. One. Very Quickly. fast. 10 second stock. There's going to be no uh, taking advantage of that rest for Kiro either. And Joey's playing a little scared. And uh, another one. Yeah. And that this. Oh, that's not good though. No, he's probably not going to be able to live. No. no. And that was really nice, that up air was stale, so he was able to connect the rest after the uh, second up air there. Oh, and a good yeah, up Joe's, escape. Kiro's playing a little afraid. Yeah, of, as... Of I mean, to some extent, you, you, you need to play a bit afraid against Jiggly. You need to 
remember that yeah. any touch could could be the touch of doom because with that rest, he's got a lot of power to just finish the stock, and it's not hard to do. You know, it's the player doesn't have to be really on their game to punish really strong with Jigglypuff. Hero brings it back to even. Ooh, and carefully avoiding Jig uh, CTG's Jigglypuff and during invincibility there. Not leading to too much with that up air that he landed. Oh, and another, we see that teleport uh, up air. And now, CTG something, is a fan of it, yeah. Yeah, he's a big fan of the teleport, clearly, but as, you know, your, his opponent, you, yeah, and that, that looks like he recognized it there. If you see that Jiggly's f far away and he's starting any kind of dash on the ground, you know that that's, you know, in his repertoire. And right. And you have to be prepared for that. Now, what Kiro is doing... Oh! oh! What Kiro is doing there that is uh, actually not too great is he's back airing uh, Jigglypuff off the stage. And you can get punished for that very easily. Um, a reverse forward air actually works amazingly well there. I saw Z do that to Wangara a lot uh, when they played. Reverse forward air? Yep. It'll push off and, you know, you'll get the damage. Aha! Uh -huh, okay. Ooh, misses the grab, but... So if... if Jiggly gets up onto the edge and is right at the edge shielding. Yep. Reverse forward air to push off, probably to an up tilt. You could do that. Yeah, that would be, I think, yeah. Kind of like your, think, of it, think about it as like a Yoshi situation or a Ness. Ooh. That should be a good recovery. Yeah. Oh, and that's a great second up B, because CTG was all over him. Oh, that was a very interesting up smash. But... Yeah, I think if Kiro came right in and didn't land on the top plat, that would have been perfectly timed. Like he went for that up teleport up there again. Yeah. And Kira might be at a percent where that's gonna work out perfectly. I don't know if CTG's this might be CTG with some pretty solid DI. That's not gonna connect. Oh there it is the what forward, you said, yeah that forward air. Can't hear you again. Uh, he's got his stuff in. Yeah that'll Michael. do it. Yeah. Now it now <laughs> this is still very risky for Kira. Oh yeah I mean this a, is a back grab at zero it's over. You know? Oh, and he's, you know, yeah, he's got to be very careful, CTG. The CTG is down a game, and a grab could spell his stock. And he's, oh, that's not a good position no, to be in. he managed to get through Again. the platform. Oh, and a great up e That's That's a wise move to up away e out of that. Oh, but back here. I could air. do it. Won't kill. So can he edge guard Jiggly? No. No, CTG is going to... Going high is a great option with Puff. It's the it's but, the option. You need to yeah. you want to be high because you have more options, right? You suddenly have so much less. But he only has about low. two or three jumps right now. Yeah, and and that's a ball very ball. good recovery from CTG. CTG really battling here. Consider the underdog up a game and just fighting for every inch in this last stock. And he has Kiro playing on the defensive right now. Yes, he does. Kiro's. Ow. Oh! Oh! The what DI! A... Yeah! Almost! Oh. I mean, he could have had straight up DI. That was so close. Even straight up DI might have finished him off there. Jigglypuff had a. What was he at? 130? Yeah, 100, something silly. I think. So. Man, and that was right down the wire. Kiro laughing. <laughs> just, you know, really enjoying the competition. These guys look dead even. And, you know, I think uh, I've said this before, and I really feel Wonkara coming here uh, and playing as well as he did with Jigglypuff, challenging players like Kiro, Dexter, you know, their Pikachus, and winning consistently. You know, and then, and then even winning in Japan against Kirby's yeah. at that level. Uh, I think that it sparked this, I don't want to say like Jiggly Renaissance, but it's just people who play Jigglypuff got got this this hope, you know, and I, it's cool. It's cool to see Jiggly's fighting at, at this level. <laughs> Jiggly's aerial speed is just so, so cool. She's so tricky. And Got like a nice, you know, if she was a basketball player, her crossover would be insane. It would be. She'd be like on the N1 mixtape. <laughs> Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Sham, God's sham gun. <laughs> oh, and CCG weaving just Ooh. out of range. Tries that up tilt. A pretty good try. Oh, oh great. F tilt, yeah. You want to. Yeah, and Kiro. To sneak in over the pound. Kiro goes in so hard with that back air. He says, You're not avoiding this one. 
you're looking more composed this game. Makes you GG. I don't know if he's... I wouldn't say he's deflated, but I mean... That would have been so huge to go up 2-0. Yeah. Now he's down here a little bit in game three. Ooh. Oh, wow. And I thought he was above that F-Smash, but it's caught on the back of Pikachu. Oh, and that was such nice spacing on that recovery. Ooh, give it away back up. Yeah, he probably should have put out another down air there. Hero looking, you know, more in control of this game. Um, he isn't really getting hit by drills too often. Oh, it's a that's big where, combo. Ooh! Oh, and that, that's how Puff gets walled out. Yeah. Just up air, she has absolutely no answer for it. No, she just gets carried away. Yeah, and that's that rising down air. It can't lead to much. Oh, and Kiro just was trying to Peace. hold him in shield and... Oh, nice jab grab there to... Oh, no reverse ledge, yeah. Oh, that's very good DI on that F-Tilt. But he's in a bad spot here, and Kiro's looked so in control this game. Oh, I thought an up smash made it might have been coming. Kiro's all over CTG this game. And that might be enough. Right, it looks like it's probably gonna... Oh! Well, the down tilt. He didn't land. Yeah, he doesn't have any jumps. Or he got them all he back did. somehow. did! Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I don't know how he got those jumps back. He definitely didn't land. Yeah, I, I didn't think he landed, landed, right? So, CTG obviously is going to stay. And Kiro didn't look scared that game. You know, game two, I think that's something you mentioned. Uh, Kiro looked scared coming out of, out yeah. of the gate. Now he just force stocked him? Yeah, he force stocked <laughs> him. So CTG didn't even take a stock that game. And, uh, you know, the little tricks and... Ex those micro exchanges that he was able to win before just didn't go in his favor. Um, so he's taking a moment to compose himself here. Let's see if he can bring this back and at least make this game close. If not, you know, take the game. He drops the bow. And he's getting serious. <laughs> getting serious. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And that's true. Weak in air to strong back air will combo. And it's an amazing combo. Uh, and you know, it's it's good recovery to get back on stage. But Kiro's so adept at just landing and almost frame perfect getting whatever he needs, you know, with that jab grab. He wanted a follow up up air. Ah, uh, that was. I don't know if that was on purpose. If it were on purpose, it were a terrible choice. Yeah. Wow, uh, Kira really all over him. It's making it very hard for CTG to land anything. It's yeah, adapted he, so well. Kira has been extremely um. Oh, tried to aggressive. jump him with that nair. Well, Full not, spread. I mean, yeah. He waits out the. Oh, oh. man! And. Whew. The crouch. Oh. You know, that was a very nice forward air, reverse forward air to lead to that up tilt instead of dropping a down air on him. Oh, man. Now, even though CTG is down a stock, it feels like a lot more. It does, just Kira seems like really in control, right? But we can't forget that CTG can, you know, He just Kira took it, but he did take the game. So, I mean, by no means is this, you know, like a foregone conclusion that Kira was going to win. Exactly. But his comfort level, you know, is very, uh... It's telling right now. Yeah, CCG looks like Fastball up air and then tech air. Oh. So how, how do you have like a really, really good tech move and then just blow the next one? Oh, very nice up the escape there. Uh, CTG has to land if he wants to try to get that follow up to that up air. Or it's over. Oh, oh yeah, that's he, it. He's got no jump. He's got a little more height, but no, he knows. Yeah, foregone conclusion. Naked Nair, if you will. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, teleport doesn't lead to anything there. Oh, some, oh no. some upward DI that's going to lead to death. To the, so that, to the thorny set for 
CCG. Yeah, and you know that. So that last stock there, that DI. So he set himself up on the edge with his back to to Pika. I don't know if he was thinking he was going to get an up tilt uh, for the reason for I don't know putting his back to the to the edge.